Now to a weekend of deadly gun violence across the country. In Philadelphia, gunfire rang out just as people were enjoying their evening on a busy street. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is here now with details. Lisa? Well, Jessica, police in Philadelphia say this all may have started with a fight between at least three people. One of them was fatally shot. And tonight, the street where this all happened is closed off as police look for anyone involved. Surveillance video shows South Street in Philadelphia bustling with people as it would be on any Saturday night. But just after 11.30, within seconds, people are running for their lives. We're absolutely devastated, devastated by this incident. And we mourn the lives lost. Philadelphia police say it may have stemmed from this fight between three people. CBS Philadelphia reports the man on the left in a white shirt pulled out what appears to be a gun and that the same man is now among the dead. However, police are looking for the others in the video. We know there were five different guns from our evidence. We believe there are two other people firing uh, down South Street at that particular time. So their connection to all this, we don't know. Police say 11 people were struck by gunfire. 69-year-old William Rusty Crowell says he suffered a graze wound to the back of his left leg as he stood outside a music venue. I first thought it was firecrackers because it was a big party. Then I looked down at my leg and I saw all the blood coming down. When I got inside, I had heard that there was a man laying on the pavement. I'm a registered nurse, so I ran out to make sure he was okay. He says that man did not survive. That man was two feet away from me. It could have been me just as easily. You know, just, that's what I can, you know, why me? You know? Police say two of the five guns believed to be used have been recovered, including an extended magazine. And tonight, officers are keeping several blocks closed until 6 a.m. tomorrow due to patterns of recent violence in the area and ongoing safety concerns. I was calm, and within like 15 minutes, I'm in tears. And I'm. Um, Texting my family, you know, with the headline, this happened. I'm so angry after Buffalo, Uvalde, you know, here, right here. We have to do something. Police are working with the FBI to investigate. There is a $20,000 reward for anyone with information leading to an arrest. Jessica. All right, Lisa, thank you.